Hi guys, this is how to play um, Why Do You Only Call Me When You're High by the Arctic Monkeys. An awesome riff, a real, real favourite of a lot of my students. Starting off with your first finger at the second fret on the E string, which is an F sharp note. And then we go to your next note with your third finger at fourth fret on the A string. Ideally then using your little finger to play fifth fret we can also use your third if we want which we're going to play twice um that little finger note we're playing twice so first from the top just give us a demo so first third little finger twice and then to get the sound of the record what we do is just palm mute that slightly with your right hand. So let's just have a look at the right hand for a second. Slightly palm muted at the bridge. Everything with a down pick. One more time. And that's how we get the sound of the record. I've also got a little bit of a delay on this sound. If we just do it for a little bit without the delay on its own, Dave. Give it a go. That's what the first half of the wrist sound like. The second half of the riff is exactly the same, rhythm-wise, we're just using different notes. We're going to your first finger at second fret, but this time on the A string. Three to one, so fourth fret to second fret, also on the A string. So that second half, one, three, one. And then the open E string. Second half again, one, Three, one, open E, and then we cycle the riff. Let's have a demo of all of that together nice and slow. Whole thing just slightly palm muted to get the sound of the record. Even slower. Really a light but consistent palm muting. If you want to know about more about the palm muting site, check out this video which I've just put a link to now, um, which will show you the palm muting uh, idea in detail. Let's play it together now, just one more time, nice and slowly, and then we'll cover your power chords to be able to do the ending of the song. Together from the second fret in two, three, four. Rhythm. One, two, and three, four. 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 And that's your main riff. The final part of the song, which is more chord based starts off on a B power chord, so we're going to make this power chord shape which has your first finger at second fret on the A string we have you, just play that one note first, this is the A string and then your third finger on the fourth fret of the D string little finger at third string, fourth fret still so your third and little finger are on the same fret. Your middle finger's not doing anything, but you don't want to have it too straight like you're kind of swearing at someone. You want to have it in the same shape and same, same manner as your other fingers. Fingers as in line with the frets as you can be. We'll be doing a lesson on power chords in the coming weeks. This is your B power chord. And then we have a fifth fret power chord, which is the exact same thing, but with your first finger, now, uh, what is the second dot on our guitar? Slid up to the fifth fret. So just do that move one more time for us. Uh, this is from second fret. 
sliding up along the strings to fifth fret. This is the best way to change between all your power chords. So one more time. Second fret played for us, fifth fret on the same strings, and then we slide back down to second fret, but this time we're going to be from the sixth string. So we're doing a sixth string power chord. And the first power chord happens for two beats, your B power chord, just for one strum. On beat three, we're at the D power chord, that lasts for two beats. And then we have a whole bar of your F sharp power chord, the second fret power chord. And we just want to be playing those thicker strings. Do that six one, four, uh, one more time. Just the thicker three strings. For the second fret, uh, second string power chord, so your, your second fret B power chord, we're only strumming from the fifth string. And for the next one as well, for the D power chord, we're again not wanting this sixth string to be heard, so do not play. Can you just hold the sixth string above where your fingers are there? Grab hold of it like I do. Yeah, this one. Do not play that string when your first finger isn't on it. The first finger wants to be the lowest note that is heard. So one more time from the second fret. B power chord, two, three, four, one, two, three, and again. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, That's for the whole last section. Why do you only ever call me when you're... Um, and that's the two sections of this song. Again, I've just put a little bit of a delay on it to get more of a, uh, a really short, what we call a slapback delay. So uh, about 100 milliseconds or 200 milliseconds. Um, just play the riff one more time. Just the first note, actually. Unless you palm mute it, you will not hear the delay. Play it one more time. With delay... And without, and uh, you want quite a clean overdrive setting, so I am on the overdrive here, and I am using a Boss ME70 guitar effects pedal with the delay turned on, and uh, these settings just on the uh, on the preamp. No other amplification has been used. That's how to play this song. Uh, check out my beginner's course at andyguitar.co.uk for those other easy classic rock riffs, and I'm sure we'll see you again.